So obviously we know what we're going to be talking about today, and unlike normal times when I would flip out and get all angry and stuff like this about when there's a tragedy and something like this, I won't today because I want to be a little bit respectful, but I want to just focus on the facts. If you're unaware, you must have been sleeping under a rock or something because today there was a, another school shooting. It's actually, I think, the biggest in U.S. history, so if I'm just the first one to tell you this, you should really pay more attention to the news. Uh, 18 kindergarten, not they weren't all in kindergarten, actually, we don't know yet, but elementary school from kindergarten to fourth grade, uh, kids were uh, shot today by a single gunman, and this was in Connecticut, Sandy Hook Elementary School in uh, Newtown, I believe it's called, Newtown, Connecticut, and uh, we know what my stance has to be on this. Um, uh, the nonsense has been spewed from the time that it happened until now, so I'm not going to get all angry and flip out and stuff like this, though I, I would like to, trust me, I would like to, because I just want to, so I get into that, what I want to do to some of these people to say these things without thinking, That's that always seems to be what I have to do, I have to go back and remind people of facts and, you know, basic history and stuff like that. Uh, so let's talk about a few things. Uh, there's a statement that I want you to hear because I'm going to repeat it over and over again to, so to see if it changes with some of these proposed laws. The shooter shot up the school with a Glock 19, Glock 19 and a 6 hour P226, both 9mm pistols. Okay? Keep that in mind. The statement I'm going to say is, and then go shoot up a school with a Glock 19 and a 6 hour P226. So when it happened, like I said, it ended up being 20, 28 people died. 20 of them, 20 of them were uh, elementary school kids. Uh, keep this in mind, though, because these are the things that I've heard throughout the day. Uh, just some classic ones. If I if I take some time to think about it, and I'm just looking off into space trying to think, because I'm trying to remember a lot of stuff I've been told today, and I'm trying to remember the things I've heard. Uh, one of them was obviously the, the assault weapons ban. That always needs to be the uh, the the, uh, the good thing that's spewed out. So let's go into a reality of the assault weapons ban. Okay, the assault weapons have been banned, and then you go shoot up a school with a Glock 19 and a six hour P226 that were completely unaffected by said ban. Okay, well. It's not really, I mean, that's kind of stupid. That's just people spouting nonsense, knee-jerk reactions, okay? And the next thing that's said is uh, we need to ban the amount of guns people can own, okay? You're limited to two guns. And then you take a Glock 19 and a 6 hour P226 and go shoot up a school. Oh, looks like that didn't work out either. Then another thing I heard was we need to ban the amount of ammo. Let's say you can't have any more than 500 rounds. He shot 100 rounds when he decided to go shoot up a school with a Glock 19 and a 6 hour P226. And then high capacity magazines are targeted. Well, let's talk about that for a second. The Glock 19, if you're unaware, this is a Glock 26 that I brought out for this, and it is loaded, so we're not going to play with it too much. But the uh, Glock 19 is the same gun as this, except it has it's a little bit longer because it can hold 15 rounds, whereas this can hold 10, and uh, the barrel's a little bit longer on the Glock 19. Um, it, the Glock 19 holds 15 rounds, so does the 6 RP226. So, uh oh, they found something if we limited it to 10 rounds like this. Uh, he shot, let's not remember, let's not forget that I said he shot 100 rounds. What does that mean? He reloaded. He didn't have a 100 round magazine. He reloaded. Therefore, what do we know? Let's say it all together. The magazine capacity limits didn't stop a thing, so he took two firearms, a Glock 19 and a SIG P226, and shot up a school. Then another thing they want to say is ban mentally challenged people. Well, we don't. Under, so we don't even know what the shooter's mental state was or anything like that, so for all we know, he hadn't done anything like this before, and considering Connecticut, you have to have a pistol permit like here, we can see how well that worked out. Can't you tell that I just want to explode because of the, the nonsense that I've heard on nowadays? It comes from Facebook, and it comes from... Uh, it comes from different forums, and it's just the news and stuff like that. It's just people making the most ignorant statements you could possibly imagine during this tragedy. I mean, it usually goes something along the lines of, what do we need to do so our babies don't get killed anymore? If you use the word innocent, babies, children, anything along those lines, when you want to talk about the actual, um, what needs to be done in this situation, then I've instantly tuned off, because I'm not interested in what your emotional response is. I'm interested in what the facts of the situation were. Um, I'm not interested that you think the word assault, assault weapon is scary, or that this is scary, and the other thing is scary. Um, no assault weapons were used. Uh, you know, uh, the, the fact that people were still even harping for an assault weapons ban when the, the weapons used had nothing to do with assault weapons. And I'm talking about the, uh, the nonsense, uh, version of assault weapons, like 
like the political Clinton version of assault weapons, not even the real assault weapons. The ones that were actually banned during the ban had absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with these two handguns that were used. But what I was mentioning is uh, that the uh, next thing they said is they they want to ban, uh, you know, like mentally challenged, you know, crazy people from having them. And uh, again, we don't we don't know anything about the shooter other than his name, and they even got that wrong in their sensationalist nonsense. They actually had his brother and his his brother's picture plastered all over Facebook with the sheep yelling, "This guy needs to burn in hell. He's gonna spend the rest of his life in hell." And it wasn't even the correct person. If you need any more example of how knee jerky people can be, they're out to put, burn someone at the stake who they don't even know did it. Uh, then there, that's that's perfect right there. Uh, so. Uh, again, we so we don't know much about the shooter, so he could have been perfectly fine. And considering they have a pistol permit there, pistol permit process, and I believe his guns were were legally purchased, uh, he didn't have anything wrong with him mentally that would have been caught by a psychological evaluation, and he would have taken a Glock 19 and a Sig P226 and shot up a school. So I'm still waiting for the thing that won't let that sentence finish. I'm still waiting for the thing that they could do that would not allow this person to take a Glock 19 and a Sig 226 and shoot up the school. Uh, they're running out. Okay, so the assault weapons ban won't work. Limiting the number of guns won't work. Limiting the number of ammunition won't work. Hmm. Call me crazy, but... Uh, oh, and another... Oh, wait, we're not done yet. Another thing they say is, oh, we need to run the schools like prisons. We need to have armed guards, and we need to have metal detectors, and we need to have this and that. Uh... I just, I, I, all I see is the TSA coming back. And the TSA, um, as we know, after they were implemented, we still have the same number of terrorist attacks on planes, like shoe bombers, and then this person had a gun on the plane. And the, we, we have the same number that we had before 9-11. So I really can't imagine that armed guards running the place like a prison will really do all that much. The metal detector thing is absolutely laughable, laughable because, in my view, the metal detector would be something like this. Okay, sir, we need you to go through the metal detector. Bang, bang. Okay, you're the first two people that I killed. Now I'm going to go on my shooting spree. I mean, I, don't, I honestly don't think these people think these things out. And then some of them are like, okay, we need to have locked locked doors. Well, in the schools I go to, not all of them, but the schools I go to, um, the doors are made of glass. So in that case, it would be very similar to the metal detectors. Bang, bang. Okay, I shatter the doors. Now let's start the shooting spree. I, I swear these people don't think. But, but here's my thoughts on the issue. Maybe instead of putting Band-Aids on arterial wounds which are not shootings, by the way, they're just any acts of violence, you know, any crazy act of violence. Like, I'm sure it's, cr I'm sure in the world out there something crazy happened today, like 22 people were wounded in a school stabbing. I wonder if something like that happened today, I don't know. Uh, hint, hint, Google that one uh, in China today. Um, isn't that weird? But China doesn't have any guns. How do they have 22 people wounded in a stabbing? I don't know. It's crazy, right? It's like, oh, you take the guns, people find something else. I think instead of these band-aids on these arterial wounds, I think we really, really need to look at the founding principles of this country. Not even the principles, but just everything that's been going on. I mean, look at the education in this system in this country. It's abhorrent. It's absolutely terrible. Um, I didn't get my ability to, uh, you know... Uh, speak to you people through this education system, I assure you of that. Um, a lot of it was going above and beyond what they required in the school system. I mean, when I when I got out of school and we went into uh, an actual college, and the, in, in, in a college-level course, um, one of the things they taught you was subtracting two-digit numbers. I mean, there's a problem with this, this, this country and its education system. I, I mean, if you want to create... If you're going to reward being lazy, not getting education with things like, oh, don't get an education, we'll give you 99 weeks of unemployment, we'll give you a 99 weeks of welfare or an unlimited amount of welfare, and, you know, the government will just give you anything. You don't need to work. You don't need to do this. If you keep rewarding that stuff, we're not going to become better as a society. Things like this are going to keep happening. I mean, that's just, that's just the way it is. Uh, putting a Band-Aid on the wound by saying, okay, well, now you can't have 10-round magazines. Now you can only have 5-round magazines. It's not going to do anything. The man fired 100 rounds. He reloaded, and when he reloaded, the teachers just ran away and let all the kids get slaughtered. I'm not saying anybody could have done anything any differently, not at all. Um, I'm just saying that even with, like, I think they had 50 teachers there, nobody was able to stop him in the mythical, oh, well, if you have a 10-round limit, then when the person is reloading, you can stop him. The cops can stop him. You know he's been dead for a very long time before the cops even got there. He'd done all his stuff, and he was dead before the cops even got there. So to say, oh, well, the high-capacity magazine ban would, would make it so he can 
can be tackled while he's reloading, or the cops can come in and stop him while he was reloading, that might work, except for the fact that he was dead far before the cops even got there. So, like I said, I'm really holding a lot back to try to be a little bit respectful. I wish it wasn't about politics anyway. I wish we could just say this is a terrible tragedy that these 20 kids are not going to have, their families aren't going to have their kids there for Christmas, which is in, what, less than two weeks? I think that's, that's a terrible thing. But when we have people like Michael, I'll ban that soda before you can even drink it. Bloomberg and, you know, Dumbo flapping his big ears around saying, oh, screw the politics. I'm going to put a stop to this no matter what, what, what. What do you mean screw the politics? That's exactly what you have to deal with. If the politics are we are a little bit smarter than your nonsense and we're not going to ban things because there was a tragedy, then, then yeah, you need to pay attention to the uh, the politics. I mean, I, that's what you deal in. You're the president. Don't say something as stupid as, I don't care what the politics are. Something must be done. Well, well, you do care what the politics are because that's the only thing that you control. I don't know I don't know where you get this crazy idea that you're, you're something more than that. Uh, then, yeah, it does become a political thing. Uh, I mean, it, the, uh, it, it almost seems like when he pulled the trigger before the firing pin even hit the first round, we had bloomers out there yapping his flaps and Dumbo flapping like an idiot. So, uh, like I said, I wish it wasn't political, but just like everything, the liberals will never let a good tragedy go to waste. But, uh... That's that's just the way it is, and I won't I won't be the person that oh well can't we just uh, not talk about this right now because you know it is a uh, a tragedy. I wish it was like that, but if somebody's going to start spewing the nonsense, I'm not going to sit back silent. I don't care uh, you know how tragic it was because if they can take the tragedy and make a big mockery out of it, how we need this gun control and that gun control and these other nonsense restrictions then uh, I, will, I will respond because I'm not just going to sit there and remain quiet when somebody says something as stupid as uh, we need to limit how many guns the people can have. Yeah, so then he can just take the two guns that he already had. Oh, maybe we should limit it to one. I'm sure that would fix things. Then uh, twice as many shots will be fired through a single gun instead of the half through both of them. I guess you're concerned about the barrel life of the weapon. Well, I appreciate that. Oh, anyway, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it today. As you can tell, I'm holding a lot of stuff back. I said this before, and uh, maybe I'll make a big, huge rant video about this. Just absolutely, because it's 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 insane what you hear when these tragedies come up from people that have forgotten history and physics and just everything. So, anyway, uh, I do think bad things are going to happen from this now. I do think that Dumbo and anybody else flap it. Let's look at Andrew Cuomo. Is this an eye-opener that we need more gun control? No, it's not. It's 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 just people being stupid. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. It's people being evil like they've been since the beginning of time. It's not making it any easier for people. I mean, those those people in the London subway bombing didn't really care if they, they had their weapons banned and this and that. So, uh, yeah, but I do think bad things are coming now. I think uh, I think they're, they're, they might push for a nationwide assault weapons ban because that's completely irrelevant to what happened today. No assault weapons were used, and if something is completely irrelevant, the government will probably do it. Not terribly affected by that, considering we're already dealing with that here in New York. And as I really hate saying this, I really do hate saying this, um, but sometimes I would like the country to have that so you guys can see what we're dealing with when everybody's like, oh, well, you know, the president would never put in another assault weapons ban. You guys are just paranoid and crazy when I live in a state where we're still living in there. You know, how do you think those people in Tennessee or Florida or Texas or any other free state out there are going to deal with having all your weapons just gone like that? Do you think that's just going to be uh, – you think they're going to just lay down and take it like, oh, you're just paranoid. You don't know what you're talking about. The president would never do this. Now. Please, please, just don't, don't even go there. Uh, but that, that's what we need to watch out for. My bet, my bets would be uh, pr ridiculous purchases on 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 ammo. Like you, there'll be limits on how many you can buy. Um, like one gun a month, shit, and like they'll, they'll keep a, the registries. Definitely registries. Uh, ugh, I don't even really want to think about it. We'll get into this more as more details come in. Um, but yeah, my thoughts my thoughts go out to the uh, the families and my uh, my support to everybody that uh, had to deal with this and uh, everybody else just continue the fight because it's going to get harder and harder and this stuff's going to keep happening. You haven't seen the last school shooting, you haven't seen the last mall shooting, you haven't seen the last massacre. It's just going to keep happening. It's not because of the guns, it's because of the current society we live in. But we we don't dare say anything bad of that the government is doing incorrectly. No, we don't dare do that. No, it has to be the object. It has to be something that we can put the blame on. By the way, they also mentioned that the guy played Mass Effect, so those violent video games are the problem as well. They can't even decide what they want to blame. But yeah, all right, I'm, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, it's getting a little bit long video, so um, take it easy, guys, and uh, continue the fight.